In this video, we'll go over how to install PyCharm on Windows. PyCharm is probably the most popular ID for Python, an ID which is short for Integrated Development Environment is a software application for building applications that combines common developer tools into a single GUI. An IDE normally consists of a source code editor, build automation tools and a debugger. Most of the modern IDEs have intelligent code completion and error detection. We'll use PyCharm throughout this course when we have to develop complex Python scripts with tens of lines of code or projects that consist of many Python files or modules. PyCharm comes into editions. The professional edition, which is commercial software and a license is required, and the community edition, which is free and open source software. Throughout this course, we'll use the community edition because it has all the needed features. PyCharm installation is very simple. The entire process is straightforward. The first step is to download the latest version. It's downloading PyCharm. Once it's done, I'll run the installation kit. I'm clicking next and leaving the destination folder to its default value. In this window, I'm checking all the options. And finally, I'm starting the installation. It's installing PyCharm. It's done and to complete the installation, I have to restart the computer. I'll do it later because I don't want to break the recording, but you can restart your computer at this point. PyCharm was installed successfully and you can start it by using the desktop shortcut that was created or uh, by typing uh, PyCharm in the Windows start menu. I'm accepting the user agreement. This is the PyCharm welcome screen and you can create a new project, open an existing one or uh, customize the software. For example, you can change the color theme. I'm changing the default dark theme to IntelliJ light. You can also set the font size, install uh, different plugins and more. Take your time to check the available options so that you'll have a pleasant development environment. You've just learned how to install PyCharm on Windows. Thank you.